So I think I found a terminal emulator that is simultaneously the coolest and most pointless thing ever made. Let's have a look. Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I know that this isn't new, so don't jump on me for that, but I've just found it today and I think it is really cool. So it's a program that goes by the name of, actually we'll bring it up on the right screen. So it is called Cool Retro Term. If you can tell what those letters stand for, you'll see why it actually, uh, why it looks like it does. So let's have a look at it. So yeah, this is how it looks. So if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below because it'll really help the channel out. We've smashed 100 subs and now we're going straight to 1000. So any help will be really appreciated. So we'll look at the GitHub page. Basically, this is a terminal that is pretty much a port of console. So uh, the description here says, Cool Retro Term is a terminal emulator which mimics the look and feel of old cathode ray tube screens. It has been designed to be eye candy, customizable and reasonably light. So I've been playing around with it a bit. It it functions fairly well as a terminal emulator. Nothing too too terrible about it. It works well. It looks completely ridiculous, but <laughs> you're using a terminal that looks like a CRT screen. What do you expect? So yeah, basically you can do everything you can do with every other terminal emulator. It just functions like one. It just looks a little weird. So it has a bunch of default profiles in it, so we're going to go through those and just have a look which one looks the coolest, and then I'll show you some other stuff you can do with it. So if we bring up the settings menu, you have all of these different profiles in here. So monochrome green looks like this, looks a bit fancy, not my favourite. Green scan lines, I believe, was my favourite one. No, it wasn't that one. Then we have default pixelated, that looks actually kind of cool. You could probably use this functionally. Like, some of these themes... It's a little broken with some programs by the looks of it. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure how it's actually handling some stuff. So maybe that's intentional. It's very possible that's just, it's intentionally designed to be weird like that. And we'll move my webcam to the other side, down the bottom. If I, yeah, that one, okay. Cause you don't really need to see what commands I'm running. It doesn't particularly matter. You can see the output of them. So you've also got this Apple themed one, which is, I'm guessing, like the earlier Apple devices. You've got this vintage one, which looks, yeah, this is what I mean by how customizable it can get. It can get um, considerably worse than this. I can show you how you can make this terminal just completely unusable. And we're going to do that because that just sounds like fun. So you've got this IBM DOS one. Looks cool. Actually, I guess it's probably better to have webcam over here for now. And yeah, if that wasn't as blurry, you probably could productively use that. But I guess if you really want to bring back those days of when you're using a system like that, then there's not many other programs you can do that with. Then you got this one, which doesn't look too bad. And Futuristic, which I'm guessing is supposed to be like the like alien movies and things like that, where they predict what the future is going to be like, but they still have CRT screens for some reason. <laughs> so... There's a bunch of different configuration things down here, but this isn't even close to all you can do with it. So this is just some basic stuff, like you can change the brightness, if you want to make it really dark, you want to have no contrast, you want to do all of this and just, yeah, you can, you can do this and it just becomes pretty much unusable already. But we're going to, how do we reset it? I don't know how to reset it, we'll just get it back to something that's sensible, I guess. Contrast, yeah, there, there we go, now we can actually see stuff. We'll, Oh, you can completely disable your compositor as well. That's that's neat, I guess. So I presume that you would need to have a compositor installed for this opacity to work. I'm maybe not. I don't know. I don't know how this actually functions. I haven't tried it with Compton disabled. So let's have a look at some of the customizations you can do, and it's gonna start getting ridiculous. So. Actually, no, it's not this one, it's effects. So you have all of these different things you can modify and you can modify all this and you can modify all that was on here. So we'll start with here, I guess. So here we have some rasterization. So you can set on scan lines if you want. You can pixelize everything. And yeah, this is a GitHub project. So people have added pretty much every single thing you can imagine. So under scan lines, you're gonna see what I mean. 
Oh no, it was was it under default maybe? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> you just have all of this stuff and then you've got system fonts that it also supports. So I could actually use this with like Source Code Pro or something and I kind of want to switch to this because that actually looks really good. <laughs> Do I want to switch to the weird retro terminal that I was kind of just reviewing as a joke? Maybe. I might have to, because that actually looks really good. So, if you want to have, like, an HD font, if you're weird like that, or, I don't know, just some other random thing. I'm not going to go through everything, because it would take me just hours upon hours to go through everything, but I'm just going to click through random stuff, and you're going to see, like, there's all of these different settings that are already pre-built into it, and that's without even touching anything yourself. You can even change these uh, font colors down here, so whatever that's going to do, that, yeah, there's, now it's red, I guess. Make set back to green. And you can change the background color, so if you want the background to be white because you're a weird person who likes to use light themes, like Tamor, what is that? That is disgusting, okay. That's going to go back to black now because I cannot see anything. Okay. Now we're going to have fun making this completely unusable. So let's just pick a simple one. Let's go with, I don't know, we'll go default amber. And I apologize for what's going to happen in a few moments. So we'll set it back like that. So here we go. We've got all of these settings in here. So you can change things like bloom. So let's just crank the bloom. Why not? You've got burn in. So... Old CRT screens would burn in a lot, and so would like plasmas and, thing, and things like that, so oh, it's not even really doing much. Now here's where some of the fun ones come in. So you've got static noise. Yeah, so... <laughs> okay, that's cranked up. Jitter? What is Jitter gonna do? I don't know, I can't see it with static. Alright, that makes the text sort of wobbly, I guess. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Let's crank that up. Actually, we'll, we'll keep them low while I go through each of the things. So, glow line, I guess, is that line that's scrolling down the screen. You can't really see it now. There we go. So, that would be, like, the line that is rendering the screen. You've got screen curvature. So, if you want to use it like a normal terminal, you can completely disable that and take up the entire screen. Or, if you really like that CRT look, I guess you can just crank that up and you can't even see the text that's along the top of the screen now. All right. Ambient light, I guess that is the simulating the backlight of the screen. So crank that. Nah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it for now. Flickering. Oh, is this? I think this is the one. Maybe not. Oh no, that's that's a different one. Okay, I apologize for this, but yeah, you can make it act like the backlight is really terrible. And now this is the one that made me just burst out laughing when I saw it because I don't know why you. I don't know why it's set off like this, how you would ever actually use your terminal when it's like this. <laughs> you would just see. So, this is at 8%. This is 100%. <laughs> what are we looking at? What is this? How would you ever use this? Okay, let's just bring up a program. Uh, uh, I, I can't even type in there right now. Oh, I guess because the settings must be a modal screen or something. Maybe? No. Okay. It was just being weird. Oh, God. That... That looks absolutely horrible. Okay, let's just turn that down. And then RGB shift will just, I guess, make the text shift apart or something along those lines. If you've used old CRT screens, I'm sure you recognize some of these things happening. But before we completely destroy everything, there's just a cool program that I wanted to run alongside this just because I want to see how it looks. So that's C Matrix. I'm sure everyone's heard of it already. It looks pretty cool, and it looks even cooler when it's on this screen. So, yeah. But now, let's just make this look as terrible as possible. I think the best way to do that is just crank all of these bars up to the right. So, yep, all of that up to 100%. Uh, nah, that's not really helping. We'll leave that one low. Jitter, yep, yeah, whatever. Static noise, oh, that's perfect, yep. That looks absolutely horrible. And I guess we can just throw some RGB shift in there for the lols. And now we go... I, I can't tell you if I'm typing correctly because I cannot see the text. And that looks horrible. Actually, we'll reopen the terminal just because it's not taking up the full screen. Why 
Why would you ever use your terminal like this? I think that... No, I didn't spell it correctly. Okay. I, there we go. Okay. Oh my lord. I think it's just lagging a bit. Okay, hopefully the video doesn't lag out. It doesn't seem like it is, but... <laughs> this is called Retro Term. It's a pretty cool program. <laughs> okay, we're going to stop that. Okay. And settings and set it back to something sensible. Okay, we can see again. <laughs> so as we saw earlier in the video, you can make this terminal look pretty cool. You can change it up however you want, really. Or if you just want the worst possible looking terminal, that's also an option if you want it. So if you like this video, remember to smash that like button and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think. If you got any other weird terminals you want me to check out, let me know because I'm always looking for some random stuff to look at. And if you want to see those videos when they come out, remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below because it'll really help the channel out. We are aiming for a thousand subs by, I don't know, the end of next year? That's, it'll probably happen way before that. A thousand subs by some point in the near future, I hope. So if you want to get notifications when those videos come out, remember to check out my Twitter and my Mastodon and my other socials, I guess. And also up on that corner, I will have the playlist that this video is in. So go check that out if you want to see some other random videos. So I think that's pretty much everything for me and I'm out.